Good morning, I'm Jose Diaz Blart. Let's get right out to our breaking news. At the top of the rundown, there is a massive manhunt in Charleston, South Carolina for this man who opened fire on a prayer meeting in a historic black church last night and just announced the Department of Justice is opening up a hate crime investigation. Nine people are dead, three men, six women. One victim identified as the pastor of Emanuel AME Church, Clementa Pickney, who was also a state senator. This is a suspect they're looking for. A church surveillance camera captured these images of the shooter walking into the church. Investigators have also released photos of the suspect's vehicle in the hope someone, someone will provide police with a critical tip. This is a very dangerous individual. He should not be approached by anyone. Call law enforcement if you recognize the individual or the car so that we can take the appropriate action to address this situation. And we're getting chilling details about the shooting from a cousin of the pastor killed in the attack. A survivor tells her the suspect asked who the pastor was, sat next to him, but it wasn't until about an hour into the meeting that the suspect began firing. She said that he had loaded, reloaded five different times. And um, her son was trying to talk him out of um, doing that act of um, killing people. And he, he just said, I have to do it. He said, um, you rape our women and you're taking over our country and you have to go. MSNBC's Benji Sarlin is near the crime scene in Charleston, joins us with the very latest. Benji, good morning. Good morning, Jose. And as you can see from that detail, the mood is quite grim. Uh, people are starting to really grapple with the details of what happened, which were very slow to come out after the uh, initial incident. There were very few interviews with any witnesses. Families have mostly been holed up at a nearby hotel, waiting for information, presumably comforting each other. I spoke with one pastor who prayed with them as a group, but he said everyone is giving them their space individually, not pressing them for too much detail. But what we do know is horrifying. A lot of people were very taken aback by the news at a press conference with the police chief today that said that the uh, the shooter sat for an hour with these people in a normal Bible study session before opening fire. And then you heard the chilling details we heard there about him reloading multiple times, saying he had to do it for what sounded just like deranged, hateful, uh, perhaps just brutally racist reasons. Uh, it's going to be a while before we comprehend truly the full horror of this attack, especially because we only know who one of the victims was, uh, the pastor of the church, Clemente Pinckney. There is still no information on the other eight people killed, who their names were, their ages. Uh, all we know is that their gender. It was uh, six women killed, three men. Uh, but that's all we know for now, Jose. And now, meanwhile, authorities have began this search. They are looking everywhere. Tell me a little bit about, uh, Benji, how that part is going. Now, this isn't like the Boston bomber manhunt, where everyone was confined in their houses, where it, where it felt like there were tanks rolling down the street practically. Things are proceeding even a block away from the church where we are now. As normal, there's a lot of traffic rumbling through. There's buses. Uh, you would not think it is some crazed manhunt situation. But we're being told that people are on this case, and it is now a regional search. Uh, there are obviously people concerned, since they don't know who the immediate location of this, of this person, of this uh, shooter if he could have gotten to somewhere else, another city, another state. So authorities reassured earlier that, first of all, they're working with the FBI, but also people from other police departments, with state police departments, uh, to look from everywhere, from Charleston to Savannah to Columbia. Uh, the entire region, no stone is being left unturned. Everyone's on high alert until they can apprehend the suspect. Benji Sarlin, thank you very much. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.